Hey Floss Tubers, it's Katie the Stash Queen here today with my February preview for the year of starts. Um, like I did last month, I will be showing off all of my pieces that I plan on starting in February. I will be editing this video so I can insert pictures of the electronic patterns. Assuming it works, great. If it doesn't work, I will put links to the patterns that are electronic below. Um, so, you know, I'm excited. I've enjoyed this first month of the year starts in January. I'm excited for what's coming up in February. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got piles over here. So I apologize in advance because I'm going to be reaching over for piles. I have notes in my year of starts journal. So, you know, there's a lot to talk about. The, on February 1st, I am planning on starting Tamara by Elizabeth Almond. This was found in the Cross Stitch and Needlework Spring 2015 issue. It's a beautiful uh, black work piece with some red and some black in it. And I plan on probably just using the called four threads in this. Yeah, Tamara. And I am going to be doing this on 32 Lugana in Bashful from Picture This Plus. It's a really pretty pink fabric that I think will go well. Make it a very Valentine's type um, black work piece, which is appropriate for February. And I have a little pink crown needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. So it'll be my needle minder for this piece. That's why I have so many needle minders, because I use a needle minder for every piece. Then on the second, is a, the second is an electronic pattern that is Around the World in 80 Stitches by Papillon Creations. And I will insert a picture of it here. And I am going to be doing that on 32 Belfast in Lily Pad from Picture This or from uh, Under the Sea Fabrics. Really pretty green because it's very much like a garden type scene with all the different stitches. I will be doing the specialty stitch version, which I am very excited about. And when I was looking at the pattern, it actually doesn't tell you. Like it doesn't give you DMCs. It says pick a dark green, pick a floral color, pick a bead, pick a metallic. So I am going to be using Jottery Designs threads. I've already picked them all out for this pattern. Um, and then for the metallic, I'm going to be using Rainbow Gallery Petite Treasure Braid in silver. So I am excited. This has so many specialty stitches in it. Um, but I like the challenge. I have not been as intimidated by specialty stitches as I used to be the more that I'm working on them in various pieces, so I'm excited. The next one is going to be Butterfly Elf by Soda Stitch. Oh, sorry for the glare. It's it's similar to the um, Elf Garden one that I have, except all of these girls have wings and they're clothed, and I think it's cute. And I will be doing, the, oh, I forgot to show the needle minder. Um, I'll show it to you when it comes back up because it's already in the bag. This one I am doing on 32 Belfast in Nymph from Under the Sea Fabrics, which is a really pretty blue, green, and yellow. And yes, I will probably be cutting this down somewhat. I just haven't done it yet. Or maybe cutting down or maybe just measuring out so I can cut down later. And I will be using this cute butterfly needle minder from Delicious Threads. Gotta love my soda stitch patterns. The next one is from a book that I inherited from my aunt who taught me how to cross stitch. Vanessa Ann's Holidays in Cross Stitch 1994. I was 14 years old in 1994. Most of the patterns in here really aren't my style, but I do like the one that I'm going to be starting on the 4th, which is called, um, well, it's technically called Stitcher's Delight, but it's also Quilter's Escape. I'm calling it Stitcher's Delight. It's a cute uh, alphabet sampler with a quilt in the middle. Excuse me. I won't be editing that out. I 
can add things in. I'm scared about taking things out. I will be doing that on 32 Lugana in Sorbet from Picture This Plus, which is another pretty like pale pink type color, but more of a neutrally pink. And the minder I have is a pretty jewel minder from Gina's Unique Boutique. And I will be using flosses. I think I just used flosses, no silks. Yeah, I'm just going to be using flosses from Mo Sale for this one. Several patterns this month where I substitute out the flosses that I'm using. You all know me and how I like to substitute my flosses. Okay, let me get this opened up. Then the next pattern that I am going to be doing is Sherlock by Wee Little Stitches, and I will insert a picture of it here. Stitches, and I will insert a picture of it here. And I will be doing that one. This one. I knew immediately which one, which fabric I was going to use for this one. It is a 32 Belfast solo die from Silk Weavers. You know why I'm using this one? Because it looks like blood spattered fabric. And we're talking Sherlock here. Sherlock solved mysteries and murders. So I think this is a perfect fabric. And I'm going to be using um, the uh, Sherlock and John Needle Minder from uh, Minding My Minders. It's just perfect. Blood splattered fabric for Sherlock. Then on the 6th, I will be doing Snowdrop Fairy from Joan Elliott. And I have the magazine insert one edition of this. She's so pretty. And I will be doing her on... 28 Lugana in Midsummer Night from Under the Sea Fabrics. Yes, I'm doing Snowdrop on Midsummer Night, but I think it's pretty and I think it works for her. And I'm using this cute little fabric colored, uh, fabric covered needle minder that I got from Dragonfly Lotus in one of my stitchy boxes. Yay, stitchy box! Then on the 7th, it's another electronic pattern. Sorry, I get that closed up. I will be working on Crafter's Manifesto from Satsuma Street, which I will insert a picture of here. Which I will insert a picture of here. And I am doing that one on 32 Belfast, a solo die from Silk Weavers. And it's all going to be done in white, just like the pattern has. I just didn't have a black fabric. I didn't want to buy a black fabric. I like the navy. And then I have this cute little um, painting palette needle minder from, I believe I got this one from Minding My Minders. I believe. If not, then I got it from Gina's Unique Boutique. See, sometimes I forget where I got them all from. I figure that's appropriate for crafting. And it's a crafter's manifesto. Then the next one I have, oh, hold on. Issue with all the needle miters attached over here. They're all attaching to each other. There we go. I am doing a kit from Janlin that's all you need is love. Love is all you need. And I have this fabric covered love needle minder from um, Delicious Threads. Let's see, it's got the black and the white. I may substitute out the white. We'll see how it works. Did another all white pattern. Then on the ninth, Get this over here. I have to use two pages for this to make sure I don't show because of how the, it came in the magazine. It is Gingerbread House from Joan Elliott. Let's see, can we see kind of where it breaks? But that's the Gingerbread House. It's by Joan Elliott. 
It was in uh, the World of Cross Stitch issue number 196. And I am doing that one on a 32 Lugana in, uh, or Opal Lugana, excuse me, in Midnight Tryst from Hand Eyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Another dark nighttime sparkly sky. And I've got a cute little gingerbread girl from Minding My Minders. Yay! Yay, sparkle, sparkle. Lots of dark fabrics all in a row, though. Oh, well. Then the 10th, I will be working on, come here, you. Big piles over here. Floss Fairy by Nora Corbett. My plan is once she is done, I will frame her and put her on top of my floss cabinet. And I am doing her on a, a 28 cash shell linen in Seaside Melody from Silk Weavers. Because I didn't like the linen it came with. And I've got my Hermione Needle Minder from Delicious Threads. Mainly because I used my Hermione Needle Minder when I did my letters from Nora, letter T. So, you know, fitting with the theme of the Nora Corbett's. And she is done all in um, classic color works slash crescent colors. It came, no, I don't think it came as a kit. This one didn't come as a kit. This one just came as the pattern with fabric. And then you had to buy the flosses. But it's one in the series. There are several other in the series. But this is the only one I have so far. I know, only one thing I have in the series. It's crazy. Then, let's see, on the 11th. I have Bluebird Santa from Mill Hill, another one of these cute little Santas that I had. He's just sweet. And I like working on the perforated paper pieces. Then on the 12th, I will be working on Orchid Intrigue. This is by Summer House Stitchworks, and it was in the Just Cross Stitch February 2015 issue. And I will be doing this, and I need to cut it down, on 32 Belfast and Irene from Under the Sea Fabrics. Look at this. Yes, I need to cut it down. I just haven't decided where yet. It's a pretty brown type color. And I will be doing it in the Simply Shaker Briar Rose. And see need to cut down and I've got this pretty rose needle minder that I got from Gina's Unique Boutique. I know it's not an orchid but it's close enough right? It's a flower at least. I could just fold it back up because it's a big unwieldy piece of fabric until I cut it down. See that's the thing when I prep for the year of starts. I get the fabric in, I get the floss in. I don't worry about bobbinating or cutting down the fabric until I'm about ready to work on that piece. It's just easier for me to do it when it comes up instead of in advance. Then the 13th and the 14th, I will be working on the Year of Celebrations from hand on, Hands On Designs. This is one of the pieces where it has 12, it has one for every month of the year, so 12 different parts, and I'm counting each part as a new start. So on the 13th, I will be starting January, which yes, it has December in there too. December won't be for a while, but I've got January, and these came from the, gen, the Cross Stitch and Needlework uh, January 2014 edition. And then on the 14th, I will be starting February. And yes, there's March. But I'll be starting February, and this one, these two came from the Cross Stitch and Needlework March 2014 issue. So this entire series is going to be done on one piece of fabric, and it is uh, 32 Belfast and Autumn from Under the Sea Fabrics. So I'll fit all 12 on here, so you'll see this piece of fabric again as the other months come up. I bet you can guess which month I'm going to start each one. January I had already had planned out. I've got another January start here in this or month of January start. Um, but 
because I'd already had January planned out before I decided to do this, that this month doubles up a little bit, but that's okay. And then the needle minder I got is cleverly disguised as an adult. That's for minding my minders. I don't always like to be adult. But I liked, I, I like how they have them separately, but I do think they'll be adorable done up as one big um, pattern. Only complaint about this piece so far. I haven't even started yet. I went and I got the flosses first for January, right? And then I went and looked at the February one because it was in a different month. Yeah, they don't have the same flosses every month. Each month adds something new. So we've got lots of weeks and there's a cross of color works and there is gentle arts. And this is just technically December, January, February, and March because it gives you all of the colors for each of those two months. So April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. We'll have to see what I've got. Luckily some carry over month to month, but not all. And I will count this because I'm preemptively guessing of a, a guess guessing a question I'm counting each month as a start for the year of starts so 12 starts one piece in my rotation it will just be listed as one piece so when it comes up for um, my normal whip rotation it'll just be a year of celebrations I'm not going to do January February March April. it's just going to be a year of celebrations and I will work on you know probably January 1st um, and then each month as I go along is what I'm anticipating. Then on the 15th is the We Are Diane Williams Stitch Along <laughs> that I and Coffee Stitcher and Brian and uh, Kate, the Queen of Starts, are all doing together. Yes, it's the We Are Diane Williams Stitch Along is what I'm calling it because it is home of a needleworker. Number four, I think this is the one it was because she has several needle worker patterns. We're all starting this on February 15th. And I will be doing this on um, 32 Lugana in Fog from Picture This Plus, which is like a nice off-white color. And my minder is one that the Queen of Starts gave me. It says there's no such thing as too much stash. She knows me so well. But I thought that was highly appropriate for using for a stitch along that I'm doing. And plus it's a needle worker pattern and, you know, all the reasons. Then on the 16th and 17th is another set of the 12 starts on one piece. But they are electronic. It is the Vermilion Stitchery Teacup Collection. On the 16th, I will be doing January Snowdrops. And on the 17th, I'll be doing February Violets. And I will insert, it'll probably be a picture of the whole piece, but I will insert a picture here. And I will be doing all 12 on one piece of fabric again. And I will be doing it on 32 Belfast and Whimsical Winter from Under the Sea Fabrics. So all 12 will go on this piece. I think it'll be a cute little thing to put by a coffee station. And then I have a little, um, it's technically a coffee cup, but you know, it's teacups, coffee cups. And this I got from Minding My Minders. I know it's called the teacup collection, but I drink coffee out of my teacups, so. So yeah, the 16th is January snowdrops, 17th is February violets. Guess what I'm starting the rest of them. Then on the 18th, I will be doing Stitcher's Motto. This is designed by Rona Nori and was in the World of Cross Stitching issue number 218. Just a cute little sign. And I will be doing this one on 32 Lugana in Pewter from Picture This Plus. It's just a pretty gray, silver gray. And my minder is um, this cute little cameo minder from uh, Nifty Needle Nannies. Then the 19th, 
I will be working on Pumpkin Swirl from Glendon Place. Orange isn't usually the color that I'm overly drawn to, but I really like this piece. And I'll be doing it on uh, 32 Lugana in Cyprium from Picture This Plus, which is this really pretty golden orangey brown color that I really like. I think the color, when I do the floss toss, because I'm using the dinky dyes, clearly, are we shocked? Um, I think the colors are gonna look really nice on this. And I will be using my pretty blingy autumn tree needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. See? I think theirs is just gonna be really pretty on this. Don't close it before you put things in, Katie. So that's the 19th, okay. The 20th is going to be my Nunavut Santa from Mill Hill. It's got a polar bear. If only he had a penguin. I know, wrong part of the world, but still. It would be awesome. On the 21st, I will be doing Easter Fairy by Mirabilia. Another one of the collection of the holiday fairies. I have Miss Valentine and the New Year's Fairy already started in my rotation. And I will be doing this on 28 Jobelin and Seahorse Shores from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Because I thought they were very pretty, bright, springtime, eastery colors. Blue sky, green grass, spring. And it's all done in classic color works. This one's one that came as a kit with the thread included. And I will be using a pretty little Tinkerbell needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. And that's something on that needle minder that's not because ah, that made her look really kind of freaky. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Again, I didn't like the linen that she came with, so I switched out for fabric in my stash. Then on the 22nd, I'll be going from spring to autumn again, and I will be working on falling leaves. This is by Kathleen Burlew and was in the Cross Stitch and Needlework Fall 2015 issue. And I will be doing this on uh, 28 Jaslyn in Autumn Fields from Silk Weaver. It's a pretty little neutral autumn fabric. And my minder is a little bird uh, nest with eggs from Nifty Needle Nannies. And I am switching out the flosses in this one for flosses from Joggery Designs. So I've already picked them out. They're going to be very variegated, but I think it's going to be fun. This is, again, one of those pieces that lends itself to switching out colors. So I'm excited. Of course, I'm excited about all of this, really. I'm just repeating myself every time I say I'm excited. Then on the 23rd, I'll be working on my Pikes Peak Santa from Mill Hill. I like the eagle. On the 24th, I will be working on Stained Glass Beauties. This was designed by Laurel Blake and was in the Cross Stitch and Needlework September 2014 issue. And I will be doing that one on uh, 32 Belfast. It's a Cosmos Mist Dye from Under the Sea Fabrics, but I think it's gorgeous. Just think about the stained glass windows and this coming through, because yes, there's parts of it that are filled in, but just think about, you know, the dark night sky and the purples and blues coming through where it's not stitched. I just think it's going to be gorgeous. And then my needle minder is another blingy jewel needle minder from Gina's Unique Boutique. And this one I am going to, I've uh, substituted out all of the colors for silks from Mo's Sale. Because it's stained glass and I wanted it to have that kind of shiny glassy quality. So I went through and got a lot of solid silks from Mo's uh, from my stash to use. 
including black and white. So it'll be done entirely in most sale silks. Then on the 25th, I will be starting Royal Holiday by Mirabilia. This is what the Whisper Thread was for. Because there's a lot of Whisper Thread in this one. And I will be doing this one on 32 Opal Belfast in Autumn Splendor from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Just a pretty red, crimson, burgundy color with a lot of sparkle because she's a queen. She needs her sparkle. And I have a cute little um, holiday ornament blingy needle minder from Minding My Minders. Told you I've been getting hooked on Mira's. I think there's three this month that I'm starting between Mira's and Nora Corbett's. I don't have an addiction. No. Not an addiction to Starts or Mira's or Joan Elliott's or Needle Minders or anything like that. <laughs> Do we have a Stitchers Anonymous self-help support group anywhere? I'm just teasing. I'm having a lot of fun. And then on the 26th, I will be doing Stars and Stripes from Mill Hill, one of the smaller Mill Hill kits. And then goes in the pile with all my other little tiny meal hook kits. On the 27th, out of the Just Cross Stitch 2006 edition, I will be doing the Lights of Advent, which is this one right here. It's by Erica Michael Designs. And I will be doing this on a uh, a 28 Opal Lugana in Winter Solstice from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. I got this in a stitchy box. I think it'll be another great dark sparkly night advent sort of thing. And I've got this uh, Nativity Needle Minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Nativity is appropriate for advent. Catholic geeky moment there. Then the next one is another one that is multiple parts that I'm starting the first part. And unfortunately, I don't have a picture of what really the first part looks like because it's with the end when you see the border. But I will show you what where the border pattern comes from. Um, this is Classic Christmas Charm. And it was a series that was in cross stitch and needlework. The first part started in September 2014. I will be working on the border for this for February and then coming back and working on ornaments and stuff because there's a full border that goes around where these ornaments are. If I can find a better picture without showing all of the ornaments in advance, I'll show you, but there may not be. And I will be doing that one on um, 32 Jobelin and Simply Sage from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Christmas green. And the uh, minder I'm using is my blingy Santa Needle Minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. And then the 29th, because it is a leap year, so we have 366 starts, even though technically I'm at 367 right now, but the 29th, I hemmed and hawed about what I was going to do for this one. And what I decided, because I am a political geek, a political junkie, I always remember that it is always a leap year when it is a presidential election year, which of course it is this year. I'm not going to get into politics. So I decided that on the 29th, I would start um, Pretty Little Washington, D.C. by Satsuma Street. And I'll insert a picture of it here. And I am doing this one on 32 Belfast and Shimmering Seas from Under the Sea Fabrics. Another pretty blue background. And of course, I will be using a uh, House of Cards needle minder. And it says, sometimes the only way to gain your superior's respect is to defy him. 
And this is from Minding My Minders. So that's it for February. Yay! Are you all as excited as I am? Or are you all shaking your heads at me and thinking I'm insane? Both are acceptable. I would understand the insanity comment. So yeah, that's it. Um, I am already starting to prepare for March because um, i got to get those orders in and I did a big shopping for it already. So some point in February, I will do the March preview video. But, you know, stick around and cheer me on as I continue this year of starts. I appreciate everyone's support, even when you think I'm insane. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>